This video is brought to you by Patreon show sponsor, CT Sounds. You can check them out at ctsounds.com. It's your boy Hi-Fi Vega, back again. This time, we're testing the B52 SP1804 18-inch subwoofer. So, let's throw it in the enclosure and see what it's all about. We're going to start with a few tracks in the Suburban. We'll see how it sounds in there. Then we'll take it inside and see if it sounds any different. One thing to note is that the iPhone mic input will lower itself if it senses a higher SPL level. So I had to play with the levels a little bit and they're not quite perfect, but I did the best I can. I hope you guys enjoy it still. All right, y'all, we're going to try a few tracks out with this B5218 on the Polk Audio PAD 2000.2. Uh, let's see how it sounds. Before we get into the home test, I want to encourage you guys to check out the podcast I do with my good buddy Derek from Williston Audio. It's called 12 E Talk. We are live every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central, youtube.com slash 12 E Talk. We're also available as an audio only podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and many more. Okay, we are here testing the B52 18 inch subwoofer inside the house. We've got a old school amp pushing it over here. More on this later, if you guys are wondering what kind of power this puts out. And since I don't have a USB out on that, I've got my iPad just hooked straight up to here. So actually my wife's iPad. So that is the setup. And to avoid noise, we have the battery bank hooked up. So that is our power. Let's, uh, let's see what this baby sounds like. It's time to feel the bass. Let's have some fun here. Let's free air flex this thing and see what it looks like.
What did you guys think about it? You know, actually, it's still available for $75 at Parts Express on closeout. You know, I would originally intended using this subwoofer for the $150 SPL Challenge shootout, but uh, I changed my mind up. I went with the Titans. The numbers were close. I did try this in a large ported box. And also, as you can see here, I've got the small sealed box, which is about 2.6 cubic feet. So I intended to use this more for, you know, the sound with this box. And the large ported enclosure was converted into the Titan enclosure. And that's why I do not have the ported enclosure with it now. But yeah, it just, it didn't quite do what the Titan's done. I went a different direction, but I don't think you would be disappointed at all if you had this sub. It's, it's a great sub specifically for $75. I mean, you're not going to find an 18 around that price range. So check it out. You won't be disappointed. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can buy it yourself. I want to give a shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to my $6 or more members, Alistair McCullum, Brent Ballard, The Third Era, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Jason Nisley, Rick Quattlebaum, William Berg, Byron Shambliss, and CT Sounds. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get access to exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube. Okay, we are back with the two ohms mono test. We're in high current mode. Let's see what it does.